The credit crunch has banks and lenders clamping down on everybody, including consumers with spotless payment records. Here to show you how to protect your credit score, Jill Schlesinger, Executive Vice President of Strategic Point Investment Advisors. Good morning. Good morning. I've been re we've been reading about this in the papers over the last couple of months. I mean, some people saying, I've been paying my bills. Is it because I'm in the wrong zip code? Who knows what? All of a sudden, my credit is going down. What's going on out there? Well, credit card companies are probably the next shoe to drop in this big crisis of the economy. Mm -hmm. And credit card companies are concerned that they are going to have customers who will not pay them at all. Right. So how do they protect themselves? Well, first of all, credit card companies can change the terms of their loans right. no matter what. Yeah. That's the deal. Blink of an eye, yeah. Exactly. Right. So what they're doing is they're doing a few different things. Number one, they're going by zip code. They say, where are the problem areas in the housing market? Right. You're in that zip code, Harry. We're going to shut down your credit line. Wow. And you could be a great guy. Mm -hmm. You could have paid your bills on time. Right. Doesn't matter. They can do that. If you're afraid that's going to happen, should you be get, getting rid of your credit cards or closing out your accounts? There or? isn't a lot you can do. And I wouldn't actually say that you should close out those credit card accounts. Right. But I would say that you should be, be really be careful. You should be paying your bills on time, right. which is really the biggest determining factor in your, sure. your scores. But there are other area that is starting to affect scores is when they shut those credit lines down, right. the You're amount of available credit is reduced. Right. Okay, so let's pretend you had $10,000 outstanding. Right. You had $100,000 available two months ago. Sure. All of a sudden, it's $20,000 available now. Right. Now the ratio of the amount of debt you have compared with it, what's available right. has shot up. So that means your credit score goes down. Exactly. And that's exactly what happens. Right. Now, when your credit score goes down, it may not go down by enough to actually harm you. Mm -hmm. We look at an example of someone who's got a $300,000 mortgage right. and you go to refinance your house. If you stay in the same category, if you're in that top category, right. and you went from 800 to 770, you see your scores, your, your sure. payment's not going down. But look if you drop one category. You might say, to yourself, big deal, it's 40 bucks a month. Who right. cares, right? Well, well guess 40 what? 40 turns into 80, turns, turns into $14,000 over the course of, the of a 30-year loan. Whoa. So this is why it matters. Right. When we talk to people and we say, what can you do to really keep, a, keep track of your credit score? Right. The first thing you can really do is understand what is there. Right. So one of the things that I've always said to people is, you know, there's a lot of free credit available credit no reports such available. Thing. Yeah. This is what you do. Get go to annualcreditreport.com, mm -hmm. pay the ten bucks, get your credit score, make sure that there is what's on that report is, is accurate. accurate. Right. If you can repair parts of your credit, go ahead and mm -hmm. do it. But also understand, again, the best thing you can do, right. pay down your stuff as quickly as possible and make timely payments. All right, make your timely payments, get your credit report, correct any errors. And if you have debt, absolutely pay it off. Yes. And finally, make monthly debt payments. What is that? Oh, Try to, my This gosh. is your kind of goal of all the, goals? Uh, okay. Now, listen, I'm an old I'm an old horse here. So we used to say you should have We're, your total We've been in the same barn, I'll tell okay? you. Okay. So we used to say in the Certified Financial Planner world, if you had your monthly debt payments less than 36% of your take-home pay, that's your goal. Right. Well, that's hard for a lot of people, but that's your goal. Less than 36% of your take-home, everything, including your mortgage. And as you see, your debts lower, your credit score will rise. And your, your general internal feelings will go rise with it.